<laughs> These days, the popular hairstyles trend are human hair extensions, wigs, crochet, and weaves. But before all this came to be, natural hairstyles were a big deal. Mm -hmm. Some of them were simple and easy to plait, while others were complex in patterns. The younger generation would probably call them funny-looking styles these days. But those styles remain a big part of our history and culture, and we are proud of them. Okay, so we start with Shuku. <laughs> Some hairstyles in the 90s established their names in the minds of both men and women, and this hairstyle stands tall as one of them. Shuku was all shades of classic. If you had a nice ikpako that is rare, oh God. this hairstyle braided from the roots up must have been very flattering for you. You make a wise point, my sister. Very, very true. Shuku. If you had a nice, if you had a very nice pako, if you had a nice um, What's I guess pako? skull shape. Like, oh, I say rare now. Yeah, but yes, but like a nice back of head, rare in mm -hmm. other words. Um, it would come out well because it just goes up nicely. But if you had an elongated, yeah, my point. Yeah. It's a point. In your words. <laughs> Next one, or shabu me. Yes, this is a combination of two hairstyles, shuku and koroba. The hair is parted in a circle at the center of the head, braided into shuku, while the other surrounding parts are braided downwards the head into koroba. It was named after the late actress Orishabumi. Yes, because she, she had that, um, yeah. that mm, was like a headgear thing that yeah. goes up and then comes beaded, down. Yes, or beaded, yes, yes, or something. Yes, very correct. Yeah. Let's talk about Kiko. This ancient <laughs> hairstyle, <laughs> which seems to be going more and more out of style in Nigerian cities, was actually one of the most popular popular hairstyles in the 90s. Women endured hours of head pain. In the salon, yeah, just to bring out this epic masterpiece, there were variations such as Pop Pop, Pop, Pop or Dankolo Kolo, which were favored among ladies who had just started growing their hair. It is believed to help pull the hair out of the scalp. Yes. So, that is she, she, she Oh, so I don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next one, Koroba. Koroba, Koroba. You were waiting. <laughs> hey! Yo, I wonder what the inspiration behind naming this hairstyle Koroba was, but it's funny, and it was, yes. The hairstyle where the hair is braided downwards, the head is another hairstyle that was flattering for people with good ikbakos, yes? <laughs> You'd rarely see this hairstyle in developed parts of Nigeria these days, except for maybe artsy video shoots yeah. or in rural areas. So let me tell you what inspired Koroba. Yes, she did this I did as well. I'll tell you what inspired Koroba. You know, so Koroba was like this. Yes. So, you know Bo now, they called Bo Koroba in your... Oh! Uh-uh. <laughs> like, but Koroba is a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, oh. Turn, it. so, so turn it upside down. down. Koroba upside now, down. turn upside down. It's Koroba, eh And now, so you were saying that, Becky, eh? uh, No, no, I get it now. No, perhaps he did not remember. So now he now. remembers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this hairstyle reigns supreme as one of the most popular hairstyles back then. It was the natural selection for schoolgirls when the headmistress would announce the hairstyle of the week. Yeah. It was not too flamboyant, <laughs> yet not too simple. It was later upgraded to variations such as Patewa with this. Yes, yes, this one, I know this one. You know this one, I know this one, yeah. So, the, and the idea with Patewa was, that means to clap in Yoruba. So... <laughs> 